Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with another 1943 challenge conquest throwing down Finland. So, I mean, this could be a very interesting start. I don't know how many of the Soviet generals are going to come our way, but if a majority of them come, we could be running for our lives for 15 rounds. All right, we got enough for the Munstein. I feel safer just having him down. Although I know from playing Germany before I um, decided I was going to use our Chanel bro, um, that even the Munstein can be burned down by all the Soviet generals. And it actually wasn't even that. Oh, my God. Hold on. Are they coming? Are they coming north? Our only survival technique is probably to just spread out. Oh my god, yeah, they're all coming. Oh my god, Monstein. I, I worry about you, bro. Especially when you're not going off. Damn, they... Da what? Doubting! Bros! Why do they always knock out Doubting? It's like, for the most part, they'll leave all my other Air Bros alone, but not Doubting. There's something about Doubting that, like, everybody goes against him. Yeah, they're kind of just following Munstein around at this point. I'm not going to be able to get them on a city anytime soon, I don't think. Feed the Munstein! I gotta... I gotta check the perks on the IS-3s before I even attack, and that is exactly why. I thought I could get away with one. Nice. I mean, how different this would be if Munstein just had went off twice. All I would have needed is Munstein to go off twice. Five, five attacks, just two rounds, and we would be in a much better situation. Luckily for us, uh, Germany took Moscow. If Germany didn't take Moscow, we might be having like one city. Oh, we lost Helsinki. Yet. The Munstein. What are we going to do with the Munstein? Nice! Yeah, I'm ho I'm holding on to Moscow. Well, hopefully. And then again, you know, maybe not. Maybe I'm not holding on to Moscow. But look at that, we've thinned some generals out. It's about to be our time here pretty soon. Got a couple heavy hitters left. I'm curious. Because I have not played with one of these smaller Axis countries and took the heat off of Germany. I am curious about what Germany will be able to do. Because obviously I played with Italy, but... Um, you know, it takes you a while to get to the Eastern Front. A lot of German generals are already down by then. So I'm curious. The Germans can mount a good counterattack here if I take the heat off of them. I mean, they already took London. Yeah, I mean, that's more than they normally do. I need Helsinki back. I can't let that just set over there like that. Captured.
I'm s I'm saving up. I'm saving up. Um, Luga and the Gustav for when we land in the U.S. I want to save like two decent artillery generals for the U.S. A little bit of a switch up. I know I normally dump them all and then send them through like India and Southeast Asia to help clear, but uh, yeah, it seems like I it's kind of overkill. I'm going to save a couple. I'm going to dump the other ones how I normally do, but I'm going to save a couple for uh, the East Coast of the U.S. Because, you know, New York and Washington have a shitload of health. And a Dugana Gustav could uh, burn that health down really quick. Nice. Then we were able to keep Mornstein pretty decent health. I do need a city there. I, I need to grab a city in the UK. That we can put down. Although it's going to take us a while. What is... What is the level 3 industrial? Is that you have to have an HQ of level 5 or 6? So we're not going to be able to grab Lennon. We're going to have to wait till we can upgrade. Well, I mean, they're down to two generals. At least in our area. Damn, I could have used Shinako and off on at the like the first seven rounds for sure. We just couldn't afford him. I didn't want to put him on a like a you know. He would have got wasted. Doubting. Poor doubting. I, maybe that's why he always gets crapped on because I always throw him down first. I'll just grab that. We'll grab. You know, we can just grab all the other ones. Give me my economy. Twenty-two rounds, and we are just now at Saratov. That is painfully slow. I think like Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania will be easier. Because they're not going to get all those, like, badass generals right off the rip. I mean, there are some in the south, but not... Um, it looks like they spawn most of them in the north. Yeah, I'm... You know, like, Finland's the easiest in 39. I'm thinking Finland might be the hardest of the small axis countries in 43, though. So we also need, um, I guess we'll throw the infantry bros down in Africa like we normally do. Have them go over to Brazil like they normally do. Yeah, it's basically just, uh, for now we got to wait for a high, higher level HQ to get those heavies to the U.S. So we'll just dump elite tanks, get them to clear out Asia, and then they can go as they normally do in through Alaska. I mean, that just ain't doing too bad. Um, let's see. Japanese bros. I mean, they didn't completely get overran, I guess. We're 
Grisolski will have to defend for a while. We have met up with our Japanese bros. I bet they're relieved. I'm about to get overran. Yeah, I'm curious the um the difference in playing like Romania versus Finland. I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot easier start. But next up, you know, gotta switch back to the allies. Thinking maybe. Maybe it's time to throw down some Cuba. How can the. How can the ROC have Nankin completely surrounded three generals and not be able to take it? know how the Soviet Union's able to afford these good units down here that I keep having to uh, take out with my artillery. Damn, their Air Force tech tree is pretty shit. What's Modell doing? Guy's not even involved. See, look at this. How are how do you afford a tier two? Like, all you got left is Siberian cities. None of them have good none of them have a good economy. The US, right? Trade must be supplying them. Then B gets burned down. You, that's what's happening. The U.S. is supplying them, right? Alright. Well, I might have made it interesting to uh, take out Australia. I can't even reach anything from the cities I have. Well, well that was it. Marshawn just wrapped up that front. Absolutely demolished the ROC's last generals. As soon as we get a city, one of the one of the uh, cities in the Middle East will put down our. Infantry bros. And they really don't have to do that much. They've held up pretty well. The Axis in Africa. I mean... There's... Yeah, like... Just like that, four cities in. Five cities. Six. Seven? Damn. Three, six. Take that dock. Um, that's, uh, I, I mean, do we even need the infantry now in Africa? But since they're be going to Brazil anyways, we might as well throw them down. I mean, we got a, a few allied generals wandering around. Nothing too great. We can spread them out. Alright, so let's get set up to try to grab a city. 
if all else fails, I mean, I guess we could uh, bust out the Enterprise. Okay, and somehow, boom, Mongolia goes down somehow. The Soviet Union can still throw down some of the best equipment, even though they got like two cities left now. After that, yeah. I guess we don't even have- we really- honestly, we don't even need bats in Southeast Asia. Boom! The ROC goes down. Remember, because we found out the, the Australian cities don't have too much health, and Japan already has a lot of that territory. Hmm. Get these bros ready to ship off. Oh, liberation of Japan. Almost completed in just one round. Yeah, we're going to have to put down... I'm just going to go do it and put down our aircraft carriers right now for that dock in the Philippines and then they can hammer Australia. Save us some bombing money from spats. We can save that bombing money for the US. And I'm thinking of a different approach for the US East Coast landings. I'm thinking of grabbing that northernmost Canadian city that's closest to us that we can reach with air power. Grabbing it and then just dropping our heavies from there. Because that'll definitely save us some, I don't know, four or five rounds. Boom! France goes down. Nice. So yeah, we'll get Chanel on... Boom! The UK goes down. We'll get Chanel in range and then open that city. Throw down our heavies and start the US assault. Thank you, Japanese bros, for having those cities mostly open already. India? Boom! India goes down. Alright, here we go. Damn, man, it had no health on it. Huh? All right. We got missile technologies. It looks like Marnstein's... Boom! The Soviet Union goes down. Marnstein's like diversionary at this point. All the naval units are going at him. We can get our other bros right across to Alaska. Probably no problem. We got some of these easy targets. And here we go. I want to get... I would prefer getting spats to the US early on. It seems like I never am able to get him there early on. Oh yeah, our aircraft carriers are gonna 
feel like Australia. I mean, throw a couple generals on them. I mean, why not? I'm not gonna use them for anything else. Abrams up. Yeah, really all I need to do is, um... Some air bros close. Now that we got our missile technologies up. Round 40. Um... Yeah, that was about what I was expecting it to be in the 40s. This might reach very high 40s, though. This could wind up being very high 40s. Not 50s, right? No way it takes 50. That's excessive. Game changer missile technologies. Boom! Egypt goes down. Completely forgot about them. I thought they were out a long time ago. First bro landed. I mean, why not? Just let them keep attacking that area. We'll just keep throwing out crapper tank generals. Alright, everything's coming together, bros. Although, again, I wish I had spats a little bit further ahead. I screwed myself. I should have saved. I need to save more. That's gonna take too long. I need to save more. Um. Sky trains just for him. I keep leaving him hanging out there on Japan. Yeah, why not throw down another crapper? Let them do some work. Alright, so now we officially have an air bro on a city in North America. Although, it's not the one I want. We need spats, damn it. Boom! Australia goes down! That start was, um, that start was an interesting start, wasn't it? I'm still going with if the Germans hadn't captured Moscow and held on to it like they did. Marnstein would have had a much rougher time. And those bros are holding down the west coast. Nice. Alright, give us these missile technologies. Plenty of industrials and technology. Got my tank bros and artillery handle some of these cities. They don't need to waste money on New York and Toronto. We might have to help those pros get landed. I'm seeing I'm seeing a possible problem. Munstein is landed. The game has forever changed. We're gonna have to do a, a little something here. And 
there we go. Perfect. Done. Almost let that bro set up there and get killed. Oof. So I think today, guys, I'm going to start my attempt at playing through Normandy event on hard. I don't expect um, the early missions to be that hard on hard. The last couple, yeah, it's going to be uh, going to get interesting. The Battle of the Bulge and the Battle of Berlin. All right, more missile technologies, eh? That's crazy how quickly we absolutely demolished the U.S. Navy. They had a shitload of ships. I don't even remember taking that many out and now they're gone. Shit, you know what that reminds me of? How did I forget the Reichsieg? Boom, Cuba goes down. All the ships just triggered that memory of all the ships I got to go up against in the Reichsee. Completely forgot about that. Shit. I mean, I've been too much focused on this uh, vanilla World Conqueror 4 update. I also need... I got so much shit. I got so many games I could be playing. They're just set in my library still. Boom, Canada goes down. Mexico, Brazil, and the U.S. Models never moved. What the shit? What is that guy's problem? All right, here we go. Fast doesn't get much action, but he gets a little bit of action. Enjoy the little bit of action you're getting, bro, because that's pretty much it. I mean, this bro, because honestly, I mean, he's hitting us good. As long as we can get. Chenault on boom, the US goes down as long as Chenault has uh, missile technologies. I guess he's right up there with Spats. As long as he got something to avoid the anti air. Brazil goes down. Nice. Somehow. Mexico held on till the bitter end. Boom! In 46. Not bad. Bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, speaker. For next upload, peace. Boom and out.